Ireland's championship wins at Twickenham are rare enough. Having said that, three of them have come since 2002. Joe Schmidt was in the happy position of being able to name an unchanged starting 15 from the side that crushed Wales the previous week. An historic day for Brian O'Driscoll, whose 139th test cap saw him equal George Gregan's world record. England's one change in personnel was enforced. With the hugely influential Dan Cole out through injury, his place in the front row went to David Wilson of Bath, who was just returning from an injury himself. The visitors created the first moment of serious danger in the match when Johnny Sexton chipped ahead and Brian O'Driscoll volleyed it forward. But Mike Brown showed the reflexes of a Premier Division goalkeeper to dive to his right and snuff out the danger. Shortly after that, England thought they'd got in for the first try of the match, but heroic defending denied them the score when they found Johnny May on the wing that Gloucester man looked to be in for his first try. But a combination of an Andrew Trimble tackle and Connor Murray nipping in to help knock the ball out of the winger's grasp before he could get the touchdown meant that when the TMO reviewed the action, no try was awarded. But it was a warning to Ireland about how dangerous this English team could be. Yeah, jump from what I've seen, it's a pretty clear knock on, so I'm going to go five minutes scrum green. Correct. Yeah, thanks. The opening score didn't come until the 24th minute when referee Craig Joubert of South Africa penalised Ireland at the line-out. It was a kickable position, although far from easy. But Owen Farrell managed to steer the ball over and put England three points ahead. Although both sides were giving it everything, that would be the last and only score in the first 40 minutes. Low scoring it may have been but hugely intense. Into the second half, Ireland were out of the traps in a flash and at last put some points on the board and what a wonderfully executed score it was. Conor Murray fed Jamie Heaslip, who gave it to the on-rushing Rob Carney from deep, a beautifully timed run from the full-back and he was in for the try. It had all the hallmarks of a training ground move and it gave the men in green a great boost Sexton converted, they were seven points to three ahead. A few minutes later, Ireland stretched their lead when England's number five, Courtney Laws, was penalised by the ref for not rolling away. And Sexton found the target with a fine effort to put Ireland ten points to three ahead, nine minutes into the second period. But England responded really well. First Farrell clipped a penalty over from close range to make it six points to ten. Then in the 57th minute, after good work by Chris Robshaw, Brown went on a marauding run before finding his Harlequins teammate Danny Kerr, who skipped away and under the posts for a brilliant try. One that knocked Ireland back on their heels. Stuart Lancaster's men demonstrating real guts and no little skill. Farrell could hardly miss the conversion and England were 13 points to 10 ahead. Although there was still plenty of time remaining, that would be the last score of the match, mainly down to some epic defending from the English side, who never allowed Ireland to get within a whiff of a score. It was a measure of how much this all meant to England, as the game moved into the final minutes, Ireland tried to engineer at least a drop goal position, but the men in white remained resolute. And with the clock having moved into red, England turned the ball over, and as the full-time whistle blew, the celebrations of players, supporters and management alike spoke volumes. This win keeps England's title hopes alive and they'll carry this momentum into their next game against Wales at Twickenham, which promises to be a cracking match. The Grand Slam is gone for Ireland, but the Championship is still within their sights as they sit top of the table on a plus 42 points difference 
and prepare to face Italy in Dublin in two weeks' time. With four teams now on four points, the race for the 2014 RBS Six Nations crown is still very much up for grabs. Final score at Twickenham, England 13, Ireland 10.